Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers, this is Thorn of Night and welcome to episode 25 of my Terraria Let's Play series. Uh, it's been a little while since I uh, hopped into this world and I, I had planned on doing some stuff between episodes, but uh, some other projects got in the way, namely my uh, tree breeding guide. I wanted to uh, kind of focus on that, so I'm... Pretty much right where I left off at the end of episode 24 here. Uh, and that is, after having defeated Plantera and gotten the deadly grenade launcher and some rockets, as well as, more importantly, the temple key. Uh, I was originally planning on going over to, uh, let's see here. I think I even marked it out with some torches over here, maybe? Oh, don't tell me I forgot to mark it. Oh, no. Oh, well, I was planning on coming over here to open the crimson chest, but something occurred to me. Apparently, the key mold will use the temple key yeah I can't see it uh, in its creation and for right now I think I would much rather get over to the temple itself which is the uh, temple that it's named after and come up here and force my way in now I'm gonna probably have to do something with this lava uh, but before I go in there I wanted to point out something apparently there are traps everywhere I've never been in the temple I've never watched any footage of people going in the temple I have no idea what to expect but if I understand things correctly carrying these wire cutters with me and having them as the highlighted item I should be able to see where most, if not all, of the traps are located. I hope. That's the idea. Uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I'm going to err on the side of caution and carry these with me just in case. Uh, now, I don't know if I'm going to uh, survive in there all that well. I hope I will. I've got the chlorophyte gear, but... That doesn't mean diddly. Uh, it, it may be a little bit tougher in there than I am expecting. But whatever the case may be, uh, I'm going to try to work my way through the temple today. And maybe if I'm really lucky, go after the golem. But that kind of uh, terrifies me because I, I don't like the idea of fighting inside that little undiggable area. I can't make a little barricade or anything like that. So... I don't know how cramped it's going to be in there, but I will find out, and you will find out with me. So I'm going to uh, head over there with my handy-dandy wire cutters, but first, I do need... Oops, that's not how you open chests. Uh, where's the iron? That's silver iron. I need to make a bucket, because I want to get rid of the lava. Wait, do I already have a bucket? No, no. Oh yes, I do. Lots of buckets. Okay, that'll work. Uh, so I'm going to use the bucket, get rid of the lava in front of the door, and hopefully gain access to this temple. So I will be right back. Alright, I'm over here at the temple. I have cleared out the lava. There's probably a bunch of lava flowing slowly down the side of the temple as we speak. I've used the key. The key is spent and the door is usable. And if I scroll over to these wire cutters, you can already see there's wire everywhere. Uh, let's see here. Let's get a, another torch in here. There is apparently some red wire going there, some blue wire there. I have no idea what this thing is. There's a flying serpent. But, uh, I also keep getting attacked by these things. 
And that's all right. So. I think I might be okay. But let's see what this booby trap is. Wow, I don't like that. Uh, there. You can't get me. Oh, you can! Alright, well. I have a statue now. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and start exploring. Hopefully, I won't die. But it is definitely a possibility. Ow. So, I will be back if I find something interesting and let you know. Well, I'm back from round one in the temple down there. And I've cleared out a little bit of it. Uh, I've worked my way down to here. And there are just an army of booby traps everywhere. Uh, I have... 19 pressure plates now but also importantly i have the third statue that i was missing so now that goes there and i guess i'm done picking up the statues so they can go here but i also have some chests and chairs and a workbench and a table the table looks kind of neat it's a little largish but it looks neat um, and those things that look like little flowers, as it turns out, they are wooden spikes and they tickle when you, when you, uh, step on them. So, uh, I'm not going to make it a habit of stepping on them if I can at all avoid it. Uh, I did find a mimic down there, got another, uh, cross necklace, but I found these things called lizard power cells, which are used at the lizard altar. Apparently that's how you trigger the golem uh, for the uh, boss fight. So I'm just going to hold on to these, but I decided to come back here and offload some stuff real quick before I head back down. And uh, then I will head back over there and if something interesting pops up, other than armies and armies of booby traps and these little bipeds that turn into quadrupeds after you hurt them or when they get close I can't tell which um, anything more interesting than that I will be sure to let you know well I have traversed the temple come all the way to the bottom of it zigzagging all my way down there are lots and lots of those wooden spikes everywhere and they are painful uh, but I am down here at uh, let's see here lizard altar is what it's called uh, and I have to presume that that's where the, uh, these, uh, lizard power cells go. However, I don't think I'm quite ready to fight it yet, because I'm going to go ahead and go back and get some, uh, potions and whatnot. I would like to say something, though. I really, really do wish that there was, uh, if you have an inventory open, like, say, for instance, a safe... And you shift click, it doesn't go to the trash. I really do wish it would go into the chest because I've been playing so many games recently where shift clicking will put something directly into the chest that you're intera interacting with. That, uh, well, I no longer have the butterfly dust. I instinctively just opened the safe and hit shift click and yeah it's gone if the butterfly dust is no more i wish i could undo putting things in the trash but i cannot so moving on i am wow i already have 18 gold i guess i've gotten about 30 gold so far from going through this place it's a lot uh, considering there really weren't all that many bad guys that I had to mess with. A couple clusters of like a half dozen or so. But I'm going to head back and go grab some potions. The uh, uh, 
iron skin, some pumpkin pie, all kinds of stuff like that. And then I am going to come back and hopefully defeat the golem. I, I really do hope that I can do that on the first try. If not, well, try, try again. Anyway, I will be right back. Okay, so I just had myself another blood moon and... During the course of the night, I picked up a fast clock. So I'm going to take that up here and make myself the plan, which has immunity to slow down and confusion. So that's another one down. I don't know off the top of my head how many I've actually gotten but I'm going towards the Ankh shield uh, looks like huh, I don't know how many I have okay well at least I've got that out of the way there it is uh, and I have gotten some heart lanterns some campfires I've got the pumpkin pie and some of my potions and I think it is time for me to Head off and see about defeating a golem. I did have a thought though, uh, really quick. Because, oh, this is the floor. Because they are everywhere, I was thinking of maybe using some dart traps because the the temple has them just all over the place and if I can't defeat this guy in the first go round then I'm going to go through and just make a sort of arena in what little space I can there's not really much room in there and see if I can't uh, just smack him with dart traps all over the place so I'm going to head over there and try to get this party started. All right, just a few more seconds until my armor is no longer broken. And I'm going to go ahead and eat the pumpkin pie here. Got the mega shark, got plenty of ammo. Uh, okay. Look at all those hornets down there. Wow. Uh, let's see here. Oh! Plantera bulb! Uh... There it is. Alright. Oh, real quick. Uh, I did find a couple other plantera bulbs as I was heading down here. Uh, and I think what I'm going to end up doing is... Uh, just triggering the plantera bulb and then luring it over to the arena here because I still need to get some more of the drops from it so uh, I'm just going to keep reusing the same arena instead of having to build a whole new one every time I want to fight one uh, so that's the plan for that but I am here for a different reason uh, you see I have a dirt over here so these things stop coming in and bothering me uh, but let's uh is oh that's how to do it oh boy buff wow I killed a hand all right Ah, get away from me. Ah, I'm shooting at the floor. Oh boy. Alright, let's do this. Ow. Lasers. Oh, 
Oh boy. This isn't too bad. Ha. Almost. Got him! Ha. <sighs> That wasn't too bad at all. Golden. Oh, I got the golden trophy. Oh, look at that. Uh, the, there it is. Yay, trophy. All right. And I got the golem fist. Now, I thought... Let's see here. Wow. Okay. Uh, I thought... I thought when I defeated the golem, I was going to get something that would allow me to break the lizard stone. Huh. Maybe that's wrong. Okay, well. Oops. Did he drop anything up here? No? Well, that fight wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I am pleased. Don't even have to set up dart traps. Okay, well, uh, I guess if I've got all kinds of ammo left, and it's going to be that kind of fight. Oh, I got a lizard banner. Don't even remember that. I guess guess I'll try to fight him again, but I'll go ahead and do that off camera. See if I can get some more loot out of him. Uh, I thought for sure he was supposed to drop something that would allow me to dig this. But, oh well. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm just about out of chlorophyte bullets, and I don't really want to go after uh, the golem again if I am not going to be able to home in on my target because I'm a crummy shot. But... I did want to show you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, that I have a horse throat. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I just got. Uh, aside from the golem fist, which I got earlier, I got this thing called a stinger and some stinger bolts, and they go boom. Uh, and the other thing I got was this heat ray. Check this out. Deals 63 magic damage, and it says piercing, and it's really fast, and I'm sure I can get some, uh, if I spend some more gold on it, I can get some sort of better modifier on it, but uh, that's a really neat gun. I like it. Uh, I might actually try to use it against Plantera, maybe, but... I'm going to head back to my home base, try to get myself some more chlorophyte bullets, and continue to look for uh, the thing called the pick saw uh, off of the golem, because I want to be able to dig this lizard stone. It bothers me that I can't. So I'm going to head back and try to get it, and I will be back. But while I'm up there, uh, first thing first, I am going to go get the trophy in place. So why don't I go ahead and take care of that now, as a matter of fact. Uh, magic mirror. Oh good, it's nighttime. Grab that up. It seems like, yeah, the golem doesn't seem to drop any money, which is kind of weird. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think Plantera did either. Let's go ahead and drop this here. Uh, put these in here with that. There we go, that's a little better. Oh, and I don't need all those. Alright. I think I'm being assailed by different types of music all at the same time. That's kind of weird. All right, up here, I do need to work on getting more of the paintings. And I think I will put him off to the left here. 
Golem Trophy. And... Wait, did I? No way. I got two of them! Neat. Alright, I need a sign. And you can go in here. Up the rope. This is a nice elevator. Alright, so put that there. Edit. Golem. Alright, now I have four trophies. I only need ten to go. But that's alright, I'll get them eventually. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get one off of Plantera next time I fight him. I don't want to fight Pan Plantera all that many times, but I'm going to have to if I want more crimson, or if I want more, uh, not crimson keys, temple keys. I need at least one so I can make the crimson key, and uh, I do want to go hunting around on other maps, seeing if I can get loot from the dungeons using the key in other maps. So I'm going to make myself some more chlorified bullets, see if I can get that pixel, and I'll be right back. Okay, real quick, I just defeated the golem again, and uh, I think I have a an upgrade to my boomerang. Uh, I got something called the Possessed Hatchet, and but did that really? Wow, godly Possessed Hatchet. All right, yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. Uh, apparently, it homes in on bad guys. If I can get another one on the screen here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And of course, none are spawning. Maybe if I go back. Come here, bad guys. I just want to kill you. There we go. Do you see that? It arches over, but normally it just goes in a straight line. That is cool. And it does... Well... 124 damage and it's a melee thing so all of my things that boost melee apply to it so I am quite pleased with this thing oh and it kills quick so yeah my boomerang or my banana rings rather are going to get shelved because they have been replaced by something that almost does triple what they do Oh, that is really fast. Okay, I just want you guys to see that I will continue going for the, uh, uh, what's the pick saw, and uh, I will be right back. Well, conveniently enough, or inconveniently enough, uh, I have run out of chlorophyte bullets, almost. Uh, I'm down to less than it would take to kill the golem, but that's okay because I no longer have any of those energy cells. I did not get the uh, uh, picks off from it, unfortunately, uh, but I did find that the things that I had copies of sell pretty nicely. I got, I think, 60 gold out of the last few fights uh, just from selling the heat ray and the other stuff that I, I already have. Uh, so... I'm going to probably have, well, definitely have to, if I want the pick at, pick saw, I'm going to have to make another map into a hard mode map and go play in the jungle. Unfortunately. Uh, so, that's going to have to be for something later. However, I do still plan on getting something accomplished today, and that is to go off to the ocean area and see if I can get myself a pirate map and begin the pirate invasion. That would be nice. So I'm going to head off one way or the other and go get myself a pirate map and I'll be right back. I just had a brainstorm. Uh, I'm off to the west where that meteor crashed into the bottom of the ocean and it occurs to me if I want to have a steady supply of enemies simple way to go about doing it is to just make an artificial meteor biome and hopefully this will just pretty much guarantee me getting the uh, uh, pirate map in pretty short order actually let's put these here and whoops there we go Pirate map farm. 
Good to go. All right. I'll be back. I must say this is actually proving to be quite useful. Uh, basically, the way I have it arranged, uh, the dirt pillars right next to me prevent anything from being shot at outside of that area. And when something dies inside that area, I automatically scoop up its loot. Every once in a while, I have to uh, do a manual attack if I don't want to catch on fire. But I'm sure if I had a campfire and a, that, that heart lantern, it, I'd be just fine. As it is, I switched over to the uh, Charm of Myths uh, to uh, do a little bit of health regen. But for the most part... Uh, I'm just standing here. See, I got one that got through, but other than that, pretty much nothing. And I heal pretty quick uh, after the fire wears off anyway. But, yeah, I hopefully will have this in pretty short order. Anyway, I'll be right back. Alright, I have managed to get myself two pirate maps. So let's see... What this is all about. Oh, they have to approach from one side or the other. Okay. Well, then I am going to take a quick drink. Uh, with the damage that I was taking occasionally from the meteor heads, uh, I was able to completely regenerate my health with that uh, ring. Uh, even though sometimes it got down by sometimes up to four hearts, there were enough gaps uh, that it averaged out so I didn't even have to take any potions or anything. So just me standing there, not even swinging my sword, even though they could t damage me, no problem whatsoever. So I recommend that method. That, that's really all I can say. Now, now. Where is this goblin army at? It's approaching from the east. It needs to arrive. I, I'm i going to assume that... Oh, I need to empty that out. That the uh, lava pits are going to do what they are designed to do. Got a pirate captain. Pirate corsair. Ooh, a parrot. Uh-oh. Someone dropped in. Um. Deck hand. Why are the parrots just sitting there? There we go. Come on down, birdies. I haven't gotten anything interesting out of this yet. Hopefully I'll get something worthwhile. Hello! Thanks for dropping in on me. Sailor pants! There we go. Vanity item, alright. You see that? He tried to run away. birds out of there. I actually need to break that block. There we go. Huh. I thought it was going to be a little bit more interesting than this. Obviously I've got the lava pit helping, but I thought there were going to be more things going on. Let 
Golden toilet. Ha <laughs> ha Okay. I wonder how long this is going to last. Pirate banner. Okay. That's always good. Get the banners out of the way. Which I really do need to work on the uh, the Hall of Banners over at the museum. I've been falling behind on that. This is definitely an invasion. Ah, it's that one person's hair. That's just money. I'm trying to make sure I don't lose any items off to the side. Ah, got another golden toilet. Excellent. Come on, you swashbucklers. I'm here. Come get me. Oh, what's this? A golden door. Excellent. Oh, they've been defeated. Oh, I got a cutlass. That could be something interesting. There's another golden door. Huh, and that looks like it. Let's see if there are any other leftovers. Doesn't look like there are. Okay, well, that was the pirate invasion. With a lava pit, that's pretty much nothing at all. Good to know. Alright, so what I get here? This color is 61. It's actually more than the Excalibur. Very fast speed. Uh, but that has the 27. Oh, wait, no. No, that's part of the sword. Well, that is 25, so that's... Huh. And it does auto-swing. But it looks like this has a slightly long, longer range, so... I think I'll stick with that. Well, that was the pirate invasion. Okay, good to know. I think I'll go ahead and do that again, but uh, I'll do that off camera between the episodes because it has gotten to that time already. I've been somewhat productive. I've taken out the golem, gone to the jungle temple, and I have the uh, arena over off to the ocean so I can get more pirate maps if I want to so that's good I've done the pirate invasion got some good loot and I call this a win I, I even upgraded my banana rings to the possessed hatchet and, and that's that's a nice little tool there but I think it's time for me to wrap up. So, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to see your message sooner rather than later. Uh, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I appreciate it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. But I am going to go kill some more pirates so i will let you go thank you once again for watching this is thorn of night and i will talk to you later